Hi, my name is Leah Day and welcome to this video for the Free Motion Quilting Project. Today we're quilting a new design called Jumpy Weave. It's very simple, overlapping, and creates a beautiful effect for your quilts. So let's get on our machine and get started. So you can see I've already started to fill in some of this texture into this space. And how it works is it's very simple. It's just two parallel zigzaggy lines. So I'm going to zigzag up and then come to a point and then begin echoing that down. And I'm going to take this line all the way down from one edge to the other. And so in a way it's kind of an edge to edge design, working from one edge to the opposite edge. But in another way it's overlapping because we're going to take the shape and overlap it with more zigzaggy lines. It's a very, very simple style of design. There we go. So that's how you form the first shape. And then now we want to overlap that with another shape going in the opposite direction. So I'm going to carefully travel stitch just a bit, rotate my quilt around so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to zigzag in this direction. Come to a point right, right when I get to that edge and just echo that line back. Now you'll notice that when I get out here, I don't have a line to echo. I'm doing the outer line first, and that's okay. You know, part of the kind of cool part of um, overlapping designs is they're a little random. So it's okay if the lines get a little closer together or a little further apart, or like right here, the line doesn't look exactly like the line before it. That's kind of what you want. You want them to be really funky and freeform and just let the lines overlap and look really interesting together. Now I'm travel stitching out. And you might be wondering why I don't just stitch, you know, all the lines straight down the piece and all the lines in the other direction. Um, you certainly could. And that's another way of stitching it. Um, that's stitching it more as an edge to edge design, basing it off of the edges of your quilting space. This, the way I'm stitching it here, this could be placed anywhere within your quilt, even if you didn't have edges or stitching the ditch lines to run off of. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility in where you use it in your quilts. So I'm echoing back up. These overlapping designs are some of the simplest and easiest to quilt because there's really, you know, no way to do it wrong. Even if I stitch this zigzaggy line and slightly mess it up, uh, even if, you know, one line, I get some curves in here, it, none of it matters because it's all going to end up you know, overlapping intensely at the end. It's all going to look really funky and freeform. So that's it for Jumpy Weave. I really hope that you enjoyed learning this design with me today. Definitely subscribe to our videos so you don't miss out on any of the new quilting designs coming out every week. Also, if you're wanting to check out the whole catalog of designs, uh, a big chunk of them have been published in the book 365 Free Motion Quilting Designs. You can see the quilt behind me. The quilt actually inspired the book. So definitely check that out at leahday.com. And until next time, let's go quilt.